what's up guys? Today we're going to talk about dual citizenship, specifically Italian dual citizenship. But before we get into that, here's a little bit of a background story. When I traveled to Italy in January of 2018, I walked in the footsteps of my ancestors, specifically my great-grandparents Salvatore and Maria, and my great-grandfather Antonino. Antonino, also known as Antonio, was born on May 13th of 1882 in Capaci, Italy, on the island of Sicily. At the age of 30, Antonio bought himself a one-way ticket from Palermo, Sicily to the United States aboard the 420-foot SS Mendoza steamship. Cause we're going to America! Full house, boys! No. <laughs> Two weeks later, he arrived in New York on March 18, 1913. Three years later, Antonio marries a 20-year-old Mary Horican in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. Antonio and Mary have close to a dozen children, and one child in particular, James, who was born on May 7, 1927, was my grandfather. Now, it wasn't until 1941 when Antonio applies for naturalization. Just over a year later, on August 24, 1942, Antonio becomes a citizen of the United States of America. And the rest is history. All right, so now that you guys know the facts, there's one thing I want to point out to you, and that is the fact that my great-grandfather gave birth to my grandfather while my great-grandfather was still an Italian citizen and before he became an American citizen. So the relevant dates here are the fact that my grandfather was born in 1927 and my great-grandfather did not become a naturalized U.S. citizen until 1942. So because my grandfather was born on American soil to an Italian citizen. He is technically an Italian citizen, so is my father, and so am I. The only thing at this point, it's just not recognized by the Italian government. If I want to become an Italian citizen, I have to pretty much collect all of the birth, death, and marriage certificates between me and my great-grandfather and submit that to the government in Italy and they will then go through that. It'll probably take a good while, up to a year or so. And then once that's all approved and they check all the boxes, they'll send me a Italian passport. And uh, with that also my dad and any of my family members that want to do so. Um, the one catch, I'm not sure if my mom will be included in that or not because she married into the family. That might be a separate process or a separate, separate application after uh, the rest of us get our Italian citizenship, but that is something that I'll definitely look into as well. So since January of this year, I've been collecting all the documents necessary to get Italian citizenship for myself and my family, and at this point today, I officially have all the documents. I just now need to get them packaged up and translated into Italian and then send them off to Italy. So that is gonna take a while and that's what I'm working on today. I will definitely keep you guys in the loop as far as updates when I do receive my Italian citizenship and any other like hiccups that I fall into along the way. Um, but that's what I wanted to have my vlog about today is the fact that I finally reached a point where I'm able to send something off to Italy and hopefully within some time I will get the Italian citizenship for myself and my family. And with that, all of my descendants as well. So I think investing the time now is worthwhile for future generations to automatically have that Italian citizen passed down from my, one generation to the next to the next. Thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, I've linked a bunch of stuff below. I'll see you all tomorrow.